What is up guys and welcome back. Right, today we're going to be hunting the Florida Panther. Now as you might suspect, this is a very elusive creature and it can be very difficult to spawn. And to do that you'll need some help. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the talismans I had. And these give you passive buffs, kind of like uh, degrading weapons slower and that kind of thing. And then I'm also going to do a guide at some stage on those trinkets as well as the talismans. But first, what we have to do is we have to craft the potent bait. Potent predator bait, should I say. And this is just footage from my first run, which I failed miserably and got my neck ripped out. But yes, you have to craft the potent predator bait. Now, to do this, you need a couple of ingredients. The first one being gritty fish. And the second one being a couple of berries. Now, there's a couple of recipes you can use. If you hold your icon over predator bait and move left and right on the d-pad at the bottom you can see gritty fish is always there but then you can use other various uh, greenery to craft your potent bait so whichever one you find first just grab it i'm only going to show the location of the blackberry but first a quick talisman check so here we have the beaver and you can see what it says down the bottom there the buck antler stops degrading of animals very very useful as well as the iguana bracelet down the bottom. Always a talisman. And the pronghorn, very useful. And that's the one that stops them from rotting on your horse. And the cougar fang as well, some dead eye perks. And then the iguana trinket. Okay, so from here we can head over to the blackberry. Or should I say blackberries. Now these guys are scattered everywhere. If you ever pass a berry bush, just jump off your horse and grab them because they are gonna benefit you later. Don't sell any plants or anything like that. Keep them all. We're going to head just south, right there under the squirrel. And they're going to look like any other berry bush you've seen. Except these red berries or black berries. Or are the black berries red berries? So there we go. Pick as many as you can. I was unfortunate to only have two bushes at this time. But I've come across these bushes all over the map. The next thing you want to do is fish for some bluegill. Now you want to do this because the bluegill when broken down gives you gritty meat and this is the staple ingredient in the potent herbivore, or sorry, the potent predator bait. So I'm not going to get into it here but hook some cheese on your line and then hook a bluegill on your line and I'd say catch about, I don't know, five or six or seven to give yourself a good couple of attempts. <laughs> You're okay. Now this is what I didn't realize at the start is that once you go to your satchel you can actually hover over the fish and break it down giving you the meat i was trying to cook it and all that crap but you can actually just break it down bottom right hand side there you can see break down there it is gritty meat and the rest will just give you flaky and various other types then to craft the actual potent bait you can do it anyway you don't have to be on your horse go down to the crafting menu which is there and then hit go to hunting and you'll see the potent predator bait right there. Then you can also select which ingredients to use. Unless it's just preset for you. Okay, once you've got that, we're going to head all the way down south. Just to the southeast of the Breathwaite Manor. Right over there. I don't think that's the icon. That's the icon for the fox, but it does appear in a couple of seconds. So the whole idea here, learning from my first mistake, which this is actually the first mistake, I was just showing you what happened. So I came in from the road, and you kind of want to put the predator bait down, kind of in a dip, so you're looking down on it. So at this point here, this is not a good spot for it, because I can only really see it from one side. Whereas if it's in a dip or concave, something concave, then you kind of have a, a better viewing angle. So I'm going to skip a bit ahead. Now keep your eye on the mini-map because this red dot appears very quickly and the next thing you know, your gullet's been thrown out, or should I say torn out. As you can see how quick he is right there. No chance for weapons because it's an instant kill and the hunter becomes the hunted. Okay, so ding ding round two. Back in the same woods. And now you can see this kind of area is better because you're looking down on it and it's more or less flat. And this is the angle or well, the place I'll be sitting and the bait will be just over there somewhere. Okay, so really taking my time the second time because 
he was obviously hunting me the whole time I was hunting him, so I've got to be more cautious. And obviously use your uh, scent eliminator, take the body scent away, but a lot of the time when I try and use that, it just doesn't work. I don't know if the effect is still on me or not. I don't really want to check the player menu every time. Okay, so got the predator bait down there in the middle in a nice sunny spot, because obviously if you can, you want to try and study this guy first, study and track. That's what you should try and do with every animal the first time you meet them and then you'll get 100%. Except for the fish, where you have to use certain fishing bait. And I'm gonna be releasing a guide on all the fish species locations as well. That is for the compendium. Okay, so now we're heading up to our little hilltop. And now I sat here for maybe three and a half, four minutes, maybe not even that long. And that's plenty enough time for a panther, or sorry, a cougar. No, this is the panther, I've just finished the cougar video. So the panther to uh, spawn and to come and find you. So that's where the bait is. And now I'm going to skip ahead again. I just moved a little bit to the left. And now, if you've waited there long enough, a couple of minutes, like I mentioned, maybe start going in a circle around it. So you can kind of see the distance you are now away from the bait on the other side. And it, once you've done your 360, looking to the left all the time, because you want to look out in the distance from the bait. And then I saw him just through these trees. The big cat popped up on my binox, and it was very exciting and also quite intense because uh, I didn't notice my dead eye. As you can see, it is zero. So there he is. Don't know if you spotted him yet, just through the trees. Big cat. And I thought, okay, don't be walking away from me because very lucky to sneak up on these things. Very lucky. Okay, there he is studied and he happened to be pristine. So now obviously I want to try and get um, a one-shot kill headshot. And also with the trinket I have, or the talisman, I'm not sure which one it is, um, you get better chance at uh, better animal skins, which is very useful. Here we go, the bear hunter and the panther hunter. Here he comes. As you can see, first shot hit the tree, second shot planted. I'm not a fan of shooting these even though it is a game. Beautiful animal. So now we're going to skin it unfortunately which I'll skip ahead as well. Right so now I'm going to show you what to do with this guy with the uh, pelt and the carcass. Now at first I was quite unsure uh, after the post game is where to store these things. You see I didn't track him there unfortunately but um, what you're supposed to do is sell them to the trapper and use the fence because they're kind of like a storage. So you sell every pelt and carcass to this trapper and you can easily find a trapper using your index menu on the map. It'll spawn okay, you to all four locations and random locations as well. So there we go. Pelt and carcass you can sell to him and he is going to make you a saddle. Panther Trail Saddle. Looks pretty damn cool and I'll show you that as well. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Correct, sir. There it is right there under pre-purchase saddles. Oh no, sorry, this is still the crafting. You find it in pre-purchase in your you don't stable. Put it on now, I can send it on to the stable. And I don't think it actually gives you any benefits. It's just a aesthetic look, which is pretty cool still. Okay, so now we can head over to the stable. And I realize it's dark, so I do get the saddle, then go to a sunnier spot to have a closer look at it. And then after that, we're going to see the second location where the panther can spawn. So apparently I'm not feeding my horse enough. I feed it every time I eat, probably in the evenings. But I think we'll start fattening him up a bit better. Okay, so there we have it. Panther trail. And now we're going to have a closer look at that in a more well-lit area. So there it is. Beautiful creature is now under my ass. And the other side looks pretty much the same. But still, cool looking saddle. I don't think you can change the color. But there it is. Okay, now I'm going to show you the second location to where the panthers can spawn. And this is going to be right over there under La Grasse, next to a couple of legendary animals including the bull alligator, which I'm uploading next. There we go. Now in this woods here, just to the southwest or southeast of that lake, this whole swamp area here 
he is able to spawn and I've come here maybe four or five times easily with no luck so far but I have seen other videos that make them spawn here all right guys that's going to bring us to the end remember plenty more guides on the way smash that like button if you found the video informative if you have any questions please ask I'm always going to answer so I want to say thanks for watching I want to catch you on the next one